Eric Mwadeth, Mwadeth.com, as we begin the new hour here. It is February 16th, 2018. Just want to show you some of the things that the market's been responding to in terms of the technicals. Take note of where the market is trading hour to hour because I'm looking here at the possibility of negative divergence as far as the hourly charts are concerned. And this is the ES futures, S&P 500, E-mini futures. And again, those are the prices. want to show you from an intraday perspective what we are looking at here. I'm going to zoom, zoom, maybe not. All right. So what the market has done here over the last, let's say, couple of hours is go to new highs intraday. But we are seeing the technicals not yet following through. So once the technicals or the RSI points down, then that's going to be indication of negative divergence, which sets the stage for a potential intraday pullback. So that's the situation right now. Market is making an improvement intraday. We'll see whether we get negative divergence or not. All it would take is for the RSI to start pointing down, confirming that negative divergence possibility. If that's the case, then of course we are going to come off intraday highs. All right. Now that I have zoomed in here, I want to show you something very interesting, and this is a takeaway from this video. This is the RSI 50 level here. So let me draw a line that represents the RSI 50 level. And just so that we are on the same page, this is on an hourly chart. So hourly, we are using RSI setting of 26. And the reason why I use 26 is so as to remove as much of the noise as possible. All right, so back to the topic here. We have uniform activity bounce at the 50 level and back above it. What that means is that the market is going to, after the bounce, confirming uniform activity support at RSI 50. The bounce means that the market now has a chance of testing, if not breaking out. That's what this bounce means. Again, we have uniform activity bounce below 50 back above it with uniform action, which gave us those lows. And again, what that means is that the market is going to have to test the highs and potentially break out. Here, it decided to break out above short term highs. Here we have again uniform activity below 50 back above 50 for this re entry here, which again was signaling a market that would test intraday highs, short term intraday highs, if not to break out. We see here the market decided to break out. This here is a congestion period. And here also, if we take both of them, you know, depending on your experience with this method, I would say it is at the end of the day uniform action. Two uniform activities below 50 back above it. And to prove that, we can see that the market did go back, test the highs. In fact, it moved above the highs. So this is also a crude form of uniform activity support. And what I'm trying to say here is whenever we see well-defined uniform activity support at the RSI 50, for the time frame, we are seeing uniform activity support again. For the specific time frame, that means that then you are going to look at the possibility of a retest of recent highs, if not a breakout down the road, as long as you have evidence of uniform activity. Now, if this is happening on a daily, it means the daily price is going to test recent highs, if not breakout. If it's happening on a monthly, then it means the monthly price is going to break out, if not test recent highs, as long as you see uniform activity on the time frame. It is happening. It means that there's going to be a retest of recent highs for that time frame. And pretty much the recent highs would be, for example, this, this situation here. The retest highs was here. This here, the retest highs was that level. And then here, retest highs was that level. 
which also means that it gives you some price target to work with once you know it is going to test the highs potentially even break out this becomes your target area once you see the uniform activity bounce above rsi 50. now if i zoom out we can see that the laws we were discussing here also correspond with other trend line laws take a look at this line so this support here is consistent with support on this line support here consistent with support on that line that's why the market recovered after those levels and we can also draw another line let's say from here and again we see that the market confirms support on the same line so lots of things were happening during recent pullbacks which also means that this is a line we can leave on the charts extend it indefinitely because if the market would go on to break below these two lines any break below those two lines would be a signal that the market is poised for some type of a significant pullback so we always want to leave our lines because they become relevant down the road if and when the market breaks below that that's actionable to the downside now i also want to discuss this low here as a side note just side note here those lows interestingly enough let me zoom into that time period now remember this video is for those of you who trade in the smaller time frame so hope that makes sense so here we made a move to fresh intraday lows but what did the technicals do the technicals improved during that time period right not only that you'll notice here that the rsi was successful in holding above the 30.9 level which might explain why we came off the lows and have since moved higher because of this very successful positive divergence as prices went lower rsi held rsi refused to go below 30.9 all right as a side note also we can see that now that we had seen this was the lows in price and the market had moved above this rsi range this rsi movement what we would have done is we would have drawn a straight line from here this line happens to be just slightly above the 30.9 rsi level which meant when we came here and tested the line with uniform activity and held that was a reasonable entry level and of course since then the market has gone on to record an improvement in price action so let me conclude by taking a look at what i was looking at at the beginning of the video which is possibility right now of negative divergence in that the market is showing an improvement here but the rsi is seemingly starting to point down let me zoom in hope now we can see it clearly markets are making intraday highs our rsi looks like it wants to coil down we haven't seen the confirmation but looks like it's trying to coil down once we have that negative divergence confirmation then we can start anticipating a market that wants to pull back this is the live trading by the time you watch this video you're going to have the luxury of knowing what the market did after the recording of this video hope this was helpful eric muad with muad.com as always good luck peace and blessings e I see. S. Mwah. Woo!